I believe in uh, in in more traditional winemaking. Yes, for sure. I, uh, I know technology is good. There is a lot of uh, tool on the market uh, to make better wine. Uh, well, I think when you have a great vineyard like that, um, just we don't want to reinvent the wheel here. We we have a good fruit. We we are very careful. We uh, we do lab analysis. We make sure everything is okay in our wine, of course. But during harvest, I think the most important thing is to test the fruit, is to make sure everything is okay. And uh, you don't need, you know, too much technology. I think sometimes it's confusing for me. <laughs> and I like, I like, uh, I basically, yeah, I like to, to mostly to, to, to trust myself, to, to, to trust the vineyard. And it, it doesn't come like that, especially working in a place like Spring Valley. It took me four or five years to understand how the wine is going to end up, you know, when I pick the fruit. And the more, you know, vintage after vintage, we, we make better picking decisions. Everything here is from picking the, the fruit by hand to pressing the, the, the wine with a basket press. Everything is made so we are really gentle we, with the fruit. Like we say in French, we don't triture, no triturage, no, we, we don't want to hurt anything. Uh, very, we, are, we act, actually, we, we are processing r red grapes like, like, we, like we were dealing with white grapes here. All the fruit is kind of fermented the same way here. It's after that we are creating the blend. Uh, but all the fruit is distemmed, uh, goes in, by gravity into small fermenter, 1.5 ton fermenter. It's whole berry fermentation and it's hand punched on. We, we do whole berry fermentation. We start to do actually whole berry fermentation starting with the vintage 2003, just to start to uh, soften our wine a little bit. Uh, it's, we have plenty of tannin in Washington and especially at Spring Valley. The berries are really small. We have thick skin. So we have, to, we have to be really careful of extraction. So that's why we want to stay long on skin, uh, but we don't want to crush too hard, and we don't want to go too high in temperature too. So we have kind of this slow, long fermentation, and like at seven days, there is, you know, the wine is still not dark in the fermenter. It, it needs 10, 12, 13, 14 days to, to have nice, deep color. This style of wine was, it's not me who created it, it's Devin. 10 years ago, and I kind of respect that and work the same, I would say, traditional way.